Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today, guys, on this Hallelujah Friday. It is Friday, September the 13th, 2024. It is 310 p.m. Praises be to God. Glory be to God. I don't care. Folks, if you cringe because it's Friday the 13th, please get along with the Lord and ask him to forgive you. You're living by superstition and it's so unbiblical. It is so unbiblical to cringe a Friday the third. Every day is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Halloween. And guys, any day, pick a date, any day, every day is a day the Lord has made. I heard so many people today at school. It's Friday the 13th. I'm like, what? What? Anyway, what does that mean? Praise God. Praise God for everything. I'm going to praise him for you guys. And thank you so much for joining on this beautiful Friday. We're going to. We're going to get into this background, folks, but thank you for joining today's title, Peace at the Last. Peace at the Last. And phew, folks, I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. Are we ready? Are we ready when Jesus returns? Um, our scriptures, I've highlighted Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 through 13. And folks, I understand a lot of people don't read revelation it scares them it terrifies them that's good it should it should terrify everybody it's it's a great wake up call and are you ready and ask yourself if jesus came right now do you know for a fact where you're going is your is your name going to be found in the, in the lamb's book of life or are you going to get thrown into the fire for eternity guys please read revelate please read that scripture i'm also going to add a highlighted link Beside today's scripture to click on, it's just a, from that gotquestions.org, what happens when Jesus returns? Guys, it's something that we need to read. If you're calling yourself a Christian and believer, let the Holy Spirit put conviction on you. When I read this, what's going to happen when he returns? It breaks my heart to know I am surrounded by so many people, family, friends, coworkers, neighbors. It's going to be too late for them, but they're without excuse. Guys, I'm telling you what, this, this is not a joke. This is real. And unfortunately, so many people just, eh, whatever happens, happens. Well, no, oh, man, praise God. Uh, so Revelation 14, uh, verse 13 is our lead off verse. And this is in Jesus' testimony. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, write this. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Guys, that day is coming. We're going to enter eternal rest. We're going to be praising and worshiping and reigning with God forever. And we talked, I think, of last week or something that, you know, even though we're not saved by works, Faith without works is dead, and we will be rewarded. We will be rewarded for what we're doing with what God has given us. And, and man, we just can't get into that, folks. We'll be on here for hours. But praise God, let's just do this. Um, we got a two-parter. First part is comes out of 365 devotions on the power of prayer. One of the great things about being a God follower, I like that, is that whether you're alive or dead, Christ is with you. Christ is in you. Because he's Lord, both of the dead and the living. That's Romans chapter 14, verse 9. So while you're here, God the Father will support you, hold you up, strengthen you, imbue you with power, whatever needs to be given to keep you walking his way. Whatever you need to glorify God, he will provide for you, folks. And then when your work here is done, Jesus will meet you at the gates of heaven where God the Father already has a place prepared for you, one that's safe, where you can rest in peace at last. As beautiful as that sounds, that is not biblically correct. Jesus is not going to be waiting at the gates for us, folks. The Bible is crystal clear, and it's in Revelations, guys, and it's all throughout the New Testament. I think it's in Corinthians. Jesus is going to return, and then those who are already asleep will be lifted up, like our background. Some people call it the uh, the rapture. Some call it Armageddon. Folks, whatever you want to call it, 
I just call it my going home party, my welcome home party. I'm looking forward to it. This is what's going to happen. Those that are already dead in Christ, believers and non-believers are all going to be lifted up and they're all going to be judged. All of us folks. And it's, it's in here. Don't, don't let it, don't let Satan get into and I mean, guys, I don't really know. That's why I can only encourage you to get in there and read it yourself. Let the Holy Spirit do what the Holy Spirit does and teach you. But folks, Jesus, you know, we're not going to see Peter at the gates and uh, there's not going to be a, a trick question to get into heaven. Jesus himself is coming back to lift us up together with him where we're going to go home and hear that. Well done, my good and faithful servant. I'm not making this up. It's not my opinion. It is in the word of God. It's in there, folks. Praise God. Um, so no worries. Keep following God. Pray for his help while you're in the sun today and for his haven in heaven when your earthly days are done. Guys, we are just passing through. Like that calendar, was it yesterday or the day before? Every day, if you do scratch, man, that is just one day closer to home. Guys, it, it should not scare you. It, it should bring you joy and rejoicing because that's what we're all here. We're all striving to make it home for eternity. But again, like I said, it's so sad. It breaks my heart to know that so many people so close to me are not headed on the right path that when that day comes, if it was to happen today, folks, I'm telling you, you, you don't have to look hard and far to understand. Quote, unquote, good people don't just go to heaven because God's that awesome. Guys, it's not that simple. It's not. Well, that's a, they're a good person. They're decent. Have they confessed Jesus Christ as the Lord of their life? Have they received him into their heart? Have they been born again? Do they walk according to the scriptures and things like that? Guys, it's not about being a decent person that gets you into heaven. And then we got a little poem here by John Henry Newman. Oh, Father, support me all the day long of this troublous life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. And the fever of life is over and my work is done. Whew. Then, dear Father, in thy mercy, grant me a safe lodging. Already preparing a place for us, folks. A holy rest and a peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, thy son and my Lord. Amen. Folks, I'm just leaving on that one. Just praise God. This is please click, click on that link. Have God. Put on your heart somebody that's so close that you you know you know it in your heart you know it in your heart they're not headed to eternity with you. If we love our family, if we love our friends, if we love our coworkers, if we love our neighbors that much, why are we not? Why are we not saying? Do you know? Have, have you received Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life, guys? It's, I'm just going to leave that one alone, okay? So until tomorrow, Saturday the 14th, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.